So, Jeff, can we talk a little bit about Cyclone Dina in 1967? Yeah, this is the centre of that period we talked about. We had all the, uh, you know, from 1948 to 76, where we just had so many La Ninas. This uh, was towards the end of a La Nina, not a particularly strong one, but we just got visited by so many cyclones and East Coast lows. It started off uh, with the beaches in good shape, yeah. and uh, Dinah came in in uh, the Australia Day weekend in uh, 1967. It reached all the way down to, to uh, southern Queensland. It's a very intense cyclone. In fact, the central pressure of 944.8 uh, hectopascals was measured at Sandy Cape and uh, didn't really weaken. It still had a really clear eye east of Brisbane uh, and uh, it just did so much damage to the, uh, to the shoreline. Uh, big wire, huge waves, mm. in fact... Uh, in terms of beach erosion? Or? Yeah, 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 and uh, you know, as, as we were talking about before, the, uh, the, the effect at uh, Noosa was uh, people almost got swept off at a yeah. uh, cliff 80 feet high the, uh, from the effects of the waves. Yeah, wow. Uh, at, at the Gold Coast, at uh, Snapper Rocks, the uh, ocean came up over seven metres over the road at, uh, really? at Rainbow Bay there. Yeah, wow. Uh, there was a lot of flooding. This is beside uh, the cyclone not coming in. Yeah, just yeah. Uh, south, the storm uh, just, uh, just storm surge out yeah, as wow. it was out to sea. Yeah. Uh, places uh, on the bridge, uh, there was a bridge going across the broad water there where it was lapping the, uh, the decking, which is one and a half metres above the highest tide you can expect there. Yeah. And uh, parts of Service Paradise got flooded from the uh, from the ocean, yeah. and it it started to wash away the uh, the Esplanade there at, at uh, Service Paradise. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So that, that set the scene, and then we had mm. uh, uh, four other cyclones, uh, which just kept on adding to it. Yeah, and then there's yeah a, insane year. Yeah, and then wow. the, then another one that went past in April, uh, Cyclone Glenda, and it was it killed about six people out at sea. Wow. Yeah. It was uh, just immense waves with that too, and. Yeah. Uh, by that stage, what uh, kind of waves are we talking? How how tall are these waves? You couldn't measure them in those days, but they were pretty big. Okay. You know, bigger. Than, <laughs> we think Diana was bigger than any uh, yeah. wave event in European history on the Gold Coast. Yeah, wow. So it would have uh, had at least uh, significant wa average wave heights over ten metres and mm. peak heights and whatever. You know. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the uh, and then the uh, that one I mentioned, Glenda, uh, at sea killed about six people, uh, and it added to it. And so by this stage, we've uh, the newly built surf club at Kilangatta was lapping the the, uh, the foundation, so people yeah. were getting pretty worried. Yeah. And we had a few big wave events, and then they just in that June there was just three of these East Coast waves. The first one uh, just rewrote the books and what you can expect in rainfall in winter. The uh, Springbok had 650 or 625 millimeters of rain in 24 hours. Yeah, which wow! Is, in 24 yeah, hours. Yeah. Uh, so you don't need warm oceans <laughs> to get that sort of rain. This is in the uh, winter. Brisbane had uh, yeah. had uh, nine inches, which is uh, about uh, 250 millimetres in 24 hours. And uh, uh, there was floods, the Brisbane River flooded, all the creeks flooded, and this is in June. In fact, it's one of the wettest months in Brisbane, is June, 1960, June. June 1967. Yeah. So, and that also added the erosion because the yeah. East Coast Lows just sat there yeah. for several days. Yeah. There was another one in the middle of the month, and then the mother of all East Coast lows on the 26th of, yeah. and uh, uh, that washed about five houses out the sea. They saved many, many houses. The army uh, were dumping sandbags, hundreds yeah. of thousands of sandbags, yeah. into the ocean at uh, at uh, Surface Paradise and Miami and up to Kilangatta. Yeah. And uh, they just yeah did a great job in saving many houses. They were dumping car bodies and everything into the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Anything to stop the ocean. And because it was the cumulative effect, and it yeah, was the uh, yeah, everything come yeah, yeah, the culminating event. Yeah. So there's been nothing like it on the Gold Coast, but I'm wow. sure there's been plenty like it in the past and in wow. the future as well. You know. That's a bit scary. <laughs> but the other event, event in the Gold Coast worth mentioning is the direct hit from the 1954 mm -hmm. cyclone, which yeah. uh, was an absolute tragedy for New South Wales. It uh, killed about 30 people, and some of the biggest it hit the coast of Coolangatta, mm -hmm. and uh, it. Uh, all the some of the biggest flooding ever experienced in the Clarence and Richmond River, yeah. Tweed River, all occurred in that event in '54. There's a, uh, I think there's a record down in uh, rainfall event in uh, Dorigo behind Coffs Harbour. You know, something like 800 millimetres yeah. from that event. And an interesting uh, episode happened there. There's a an island at the back of Surface Paradise, uh, which is now a suburb of Surface Paradise, and uh, Macintosh Island. 
and there was farmers on there then, and they were up to their chest in water, in storm surge, in the highest part of the uh, island. And uh, when the eye came over, they were able to get them off in the surf boat. You know, really? Days. And uh, as soon as they got them off, the floods, yeah. floods came swept swept down, because uh, Springbrook had 44 inches of rain, which is uh, about what, 44 inches of rain is about 1.3 uh, millimeters of, meters of rain. In, uh, before the cyclone came in, in just over a day, so it was yeah. just phenomenal rain. Yeah. And uh, that, until Tracy, that was our, our biggest killer for a tropical cyclone in a populated area. Wow. Yep. On, the, on the Gulf Coast of all places. Gulf Coast. <laughs>